We start tonight with a community left wondering what's next after a well-known business many families relied on burned in a fire. Casa Bella Galleria has been a staple along Del Paso Boulevard until it burned down this morning. ABC 10's Jeannie Nguyen joins us live right now with the latest on this investigation and how the community is responding. Jeannie. Alicia and Luke, that building has been completely burned down and I'm going to step out of the way so you can see here. Smud crews have been here all day trying to restore power to the area and if you look at that building, you can see that the flames destroyed the entire building. Now tonight, community members tell me they're sad to see Casabella gone, but they have faith the community will rebuild. Oh my goodness, I am just destroyed right now. It's hard for Demita Patterson to see this pile of rubble after 30 years. I just can't get over this. This is just devastating. For as long as she can remember, Casabella Galleria has been on the corner of Del Paso Boulevard and Arden Way, right next to Wells Fargo. This is the bank that me, my family went to for 30 years. But at 2.30 Sunday morning, crews from Sacramento Fire fought to put out the third alarm fire. With what's left of it, Patterson says it's devastating, especially after everything Del Paso Boulevard has been through. I hate for this for anybody, but this community is much negative to we had over here lately that this is not going to help it right now. The fire is still under investigation and luckily no one was hurt. This mural is one of the only things that survived painted by Shane Grammer in 2019. He now lives in L.A. It's very personal you know, to see that happen. Grammer says he painted this to showcase the beauty along Del Paso Boulevard despite its challenges. After seeing images following the fire, he believes there's a reason that part of the building is still standing. It is a beacon of um, the resilience for that community and I'm going to make that wall beautiful and go, go clean it up. And after 30 years of being in this neighborhood, Patterson says she's dedicated to showing her support by giving back to her neighbors. I'm going to be there for them and hopefully the rest of the neighborhood, the neighbors and everybody will be too. Now, the owner of Casabella did tell me that this is tragic and traumatic, but he is dedicated to rebuilding and to continue to serve the community. Also, in about an hour, there will be an event here to support the business and the owners. It is being organized by the Del Paso Boulevard Partnership and the North Sacramento Chamber of Commerce. Back to you. Glad to see the community coming back together to support this business. Just tragic to see. Thank you, Jeannie, for your reporting.